Good morning to someone and good afternoon to the others. Uh, and welcome to the 10th webinar from Greg Nielsen MIFAS. I hope that everyone is well and, and healthy in this moment. And today we will discuss very interesting, interesting topics like uh, postoperative care and complications in minimally invasive surgery. But before starting with the program, uh, I'm going to introduce you Greg Nipsun Mifas. We are a minimally invasive foot and ankle surgery society. And in our site, in gregnip.org, uh, you can become a member and you have a lot of information about our courses and congresses. Uh, and as well as the e-learning, you can check our PhD program in collaboration with uh, the University of Barcelona. Our research grant to the section Ask an Expert and a lot of more things. Uh, Greg Nip is a, is a made up of an expert from all over the world and our aim is to teach the minimal inversive surgery around the world. Uh, you can also follow us on our social networks like the Facebook where you can also present your clinical cases and in Instagram and LinkedIn uh, to, to find something. And today we have two greater speakers who they are going to talk us about postoperative care in minimally invasive surgery with Dr. Frederick Michaels and uh, how to manage complications with George Hohlzer from Germany. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. Okay, um, the basic rules is very important and take care with that. All participants' microphones are mute and 15 to 20 minutes for each speaker please use only question, question and answer uh, chat, not a general chat to make your questions and a specific question for each speakers will be answered after each presentation. General discuss will be at the end with the involvement of all speakers, maximum duration, two hours. And we are here for you, don't be shy, and ask everything you want to know. Thank you very much. And we are starting with the webinar. So hello everyone, thank you Pablo. I hope that everybody is safe and healthy. In this talk, I will present the postoperative management of the percutaneous techniques. So the content will be limited to the percutaneous techniques of the forefoot surgery, as there are more specific items to talk about. There are many techniques, but so it's impossible to mention all the postoperative care about each technique but I will mention the most important key points. The minimally invasive techniques, they have some important characteristics that we should take into account because they have an impact on the postoperative care. First, as in endoscopic techniques, there is no correlation between the incisions and the extensiveness of the surgical technique. And it is important to counsel the patient about that. There are small incisions, but maybe more important surgery. And if you don't talk to the patient or explain, he will underestimate the surgery and be unhappy of the result or the rehabilitation, despite a, res a successful result. Second, um, hardware is only limited used. So normally hardware is used to keep the bone fragments in a corrected position. If you don't use any hardware, this increases the function of the bandage and the dressing. There is a minimal soft tissue approach. So this favorizes wound healing and we see less wound healing problems. So we can leave the dressings during a longer period. Specific surgical gestures are used. 